Welcome to this video, we're going to be talking about Llama Coder, something very similar to Bolt or Lovable, but completely for free. Now, one thing I will say is there's a reason that Lovable and Bolt are paid and this is free at the moment. This is nowhere near the level of something like Bolt or Lovable, but as a starter project that's completely free, that allows you to kind of experiment with this kind of system, I definitely think it's a positive for the community. Let's get into it. So Llama Coder, you can find this in the description, it's llamacoder.together.ai. Now, one thing I like straight off the bat is that you can choose which model you want to use, and it has a couple of very, very powerful models. Quen 2.5 Coder 32B, which is supposedly one of the better coding models, and then DeepSeek V3 as well. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, like I'm not trying to say that this is gonna destroy Lovable or anything because to be honest with you, there's no integration with any databases and it's not even, you know, it's good, but it's not that good to be honest with you. But you can make something very, very simple. So I'm just gonna show you some, I'm just gonna show you a few examples now. So first of all, we say make me a Bitcoin price showing app. So this is gonna make something very, very simple. Uh, I'm gonna open another one here, Llama Coder, blah, 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 and we're gonna use DeepSeek V3 and do the same thing at the same time. So you can see it's kind of like um, Anthropic um, in the sense that it, it's like Anthropic uh, artifacts, but you can actually execute the code inside it and see kind of what the end result of whatever you're doing is. So I'm gonna send this second one here so it says, since we can't make external API calls direct from this environment, I'll simulate the API response. So I'm gonna say, um, at the end of this, when this is finished, you can actually kind of trick it and say, once it's finished, in this case, you can use external APIs because it's open to the public. And then I'll just say that off the bat here. So I'm gonna say, um, this API is open to the public, so please give me a real implementation of this. So you can see here, it actually says sure, and then you can see this is the actual price of Bitcoin. So if I go to Google BTC USD, okay, it's kind of, it's kind of right. <laughs> it's not quite right, but it's kind of right. Yeah, so this is something that happens with us quite a lot, like it just kind of gets stuck. Like, uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's not necessarily better than something like um, Lovable or Bolt, but it's just nice to be able to play around with these things for free without paying you know, quite a lot of money. Um, Lovable is very, very expensive, for example. But yeah, I mean, you can achieve something like this very, very simply. You could make this into a one-page application. You could add more uh, cryptocurrencies to it as well. Um, and five of the top cryptos and put them in the header. I wonder if it can do that. CoinGecko API. I think it'll probably need an API key, but we'll see. Yeah, you can see it got stuck again. One of the issues with this is that it's got 600,000 people using it. <laughs> So it's, uh, oh, oh no, it did work. Is that the actual price of ETH? Ethereum price. There's a lot of people using this. That's why it's, again, it's a little bit behind, but that's pretty cool. Um, make them all separate pages and put each page in the header. Okay, yeah, it's gone a bit. It's gone a bit off the rails here. So yeah, I think um, I think the point of this video is just to show people this free project. That hopefully they're going to maintain it. Hopefully they're going to keep it free. A good way to test whether they're actually serious about this is to go on the GitHub repo and see when the last updates were. So two days ago, three days ago, two days ago, 
um, three days ago. So they are continuing to um, maintain the project. They're continuing to update the project, which means hopefully over time this will get better and better and we won't have to pay crap tons of money to build something that we want to build. Now, another really good one here is Bolt.DIY. I think we'll make a video about this as well um, because this is a similar thing, but you have to pay for the API costs, but you don't have to pay for the Bolt tokens. So I think we'll make a video about Bolt DIY as well. Um, in terms of Llama Coda, hopefully they will continue to uh, make it better, make it more powerful, and we'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you're interested in Do Browser, a new AI agent that can automate anything for you.